Catch by Amy Lee. So this is a fun little romance. It is part of the Influencer series by Amy Lee. The first one is Set On You, the second one is X's and O's, and this one is The Catch. They are interconnected standalones and they're all about little different influencers. Set On You is a fitness blogger and I wasn't like the biggest fan of that one. I don't know. I think it was just because it was a blog and like I found the post kind of cringy. X's and O's was about a bookstagrammer and she was on TikTok and stuff and I didn't find that stuff cringy, whereas other people did. So I don't know if it's just like that form of media. So the catch is about, I can't remember if she's primarily YouTube. Melanie is our girly pop. Apparently she is starting to lose followers because they'll keep telling her her, uh, her videos are now stale. She's starting to like age out of the industry, which is a whole other thing that annoying just because when you turn 30 does not mean you disappear. <laughs> if anything, you get better. Anyway, she gets this brand trip deal to go to someplace and do a post on this lovely resort. She takes it just as like, maybe it will refresh her content, inspire her, get her back on making some deals with people. She's been losing a lot of contracts and she's now panicking that she is going to be in financial ruin. <laughs> Makes the plans, gets this all set up, flies out there, and they tell her, oh no, it's not this weekend. We made it for next weekend, but we will comp your stay elsewhere because we're completely packed here due to tourist season. And the only available place is this Airbnb about an hour and a half away from where she was. So she gets, rents a car and it's in a really, isolated area and really dusty and kind of grimy and doesn't look like fit for guests to be staying at. And she's ringing the bell and all of a sudden there's this big huge man behind her and that's where I'm at now. So I'm only on chapter three. But I really loved how this started. It says, if I were a character in a classic slasher film, I'd be the first to die. And I've been really enjoying this writing. Within the two chapters that I've read, I feel like she's definitely improved as an, an author. It's a fun little rom-com, a good little summer read. I'm really looking forward to just having something flirty, cute, and fresh and fun. We're heading towards the end of summer, so I think this is like the perfect time to read it. Hello, I'm here with a haul. <laughs> Let's start with Amazon. Printer ink. And then I had enough points to get a novel love story. Yay, a little book haul. I'm obsessed with this cover, you guys. It's gorgeous. All right, this next up is a combination of Aldi, Target, Costco, and Cub. Ham, butter, lettuce, sweet potato chips, mini marshmallows, graham crackers, gluten-free, corn tortillas, blue cheese crumble, cara cara oranges, they're the pink ones, chia seeds, green grapes. Aldi had their fall candles out, so I got fall so excited and pumpkin a pumpkin candle melt wax thing body wash lavender billy refillable razors i'm switching back to my billy razor because i hate the flamingo ones i'm also switching back to men's deodorant old spice the lavender mint cheese some slow cooked pork gluten-free cereal this one is so good chicken breast burrito bowls some camis these black pants these gorgeous green ones they're like a dark forest emerald green. Bananas, eggs, chicken breast, a Lani New variety pack. This concludes our haul. The beginning of chapter four. I'm a terrible sleeper in the best of situations requiring my fan, bamboo sheets, purple gel flex grid cooling mattress, gel sleep mask, and mindful mindfulness meditation audio to even think about getting a wink of sleep. Here's mine. <laughs> I need my fan. I need my sound machine. Um, if I'm sleeping not in my home, I need my uh, sleep bud earplugs that play white noise. I also have a white noise app on my phone. I need a pillow for between my legs, something to cuddle with, whether that's a blanket, a sweatshirt, a teddy bear, my magnesium supplement and melatonin and probiotic. My newest addition is my humidifier. Yes, my humidifier. When I run the air conditioning, but as well as just like my house in general feels very dry. I got it initially to have great, lovely hydrating skin. And then I can't stop using it because every time I do, I wake up choking to death on the dry air. As someone who has always struggled with sleep, 
sleeping, staying asleep, going to sleep. These things are necessary for me to even get the amount of sleep that I get, which is so much more than prior. And there's there's my sleep habits. Losing followers and collaboration partners isn't just business, it's personal. Because if people no longer buy into my brand, they no longer buy into me as a person. And what does that say about me if I can't get people to like me? Best version of me, even behind a filter. That's so sad. Good morning! On my drive to the gym this morning, I was listening to Sophie and Georgia, or George, <laughs> uh, their matcha therapy episode. I just love their like their little podcast, and it will be coming to Spotify soon, they said. So I'm very excited to add that into my repertoire of podcasts. They're just so fun, and I just love that they're besties, and they're answering like five bestie questions about each other, and it got me thinking about me and Julia and me and Sam, and me and Julia's bestie relationship is just so weird because neither one of us remember how we became friends. We were in the same sorority, but we didn't really interact much. Yeah, Julia and I can't really remember when we became friends, let alone best friends. No idea what our first conversation was. People would mix us up all the time because we were just tall brunettes with olive skin. <laughs> we were a slow burn, just a embers into the flame that we are now. Sam and I met because we were, um, she thankfully took me in for when I started grad school and I was looking for a place to live and she contacted me and I said, this girl looks cool. And she was, <laughs> and she still is. So we're gonna go work out, it's a leg day. I'm gonna try to play pickleball today. It's supposed to be cloudy and it was sprinkling on the way but I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore but it is looking a little cloudy, so we'll see. Then I'm gonna meal prep and I'm gonna edit this vlog and like get a jump start on that because it's gotta go up Monday. And we gotta finish this book this weekend too. And we have big weekend stuff going on. Oh, last night I had volleyball, won both games pretty easily, which was unusual with one of the teams because they're usually pretty on top of it. And they had great plays and stuff, but like they just, they weren't putting it down as much as they normally do. I'm really enjoying this book so far. Uh, something, <laughs> something happened to Evan. Mel has to, help out and the way she goes about it is uh she does the fake fiance <laughs> and i'm so excited and evan just does not like her for whatever reason i think he just got a really bad first impression of her and made a lot of judgments about her he just wants nothing to do with her and has been so rude and grumpy to her but also like protective but everybody else loves him they're like oh evan's such a great guy and she's like are you are we do we know the same person <laughs> So this is like everyone but you, but make it <laughs> he's grumpy only towards her. <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. Also, on that train of thought, enemies to lovers, I know it's such a popular trope. Friends to lovers is always going to be my favorite because I like to put myself in the protagonist's view, the FMC's view. And if anybody was mean to me, like enemies to lovers could be, I'd be like, no. This person is horrible. I definitely trend more to the friends to lovers because I'm like, oh, they're so nice. <laughs> they actually like me. I'm too soft for it. <laughs> try that s'mores dessert that I showed you guys earlier. I used gluten-free graham crackers and then followed the recipe as is. I'm kind of nervous. I made these for book club for tomorrow. Oh yeah, I have book club tomorrow <laughs> for my romantic book club that I'm a part of. It's our first meeting. I wanted to make a little sweet treat. I wanted to give it a shot before I bring it to all these girly pops. And if it sucks, then I'm gonna bring some cookies instead. This is phenomenal. Oh my God. <laughs> I love s'mores so much. They're my favorite. I think the only thing that will make it better is if using cinnamon graham crackers. I love a fake dating, love a fake fiance, love a fake marriage, <laughs> love a marriage of convenience. They're going to save the inn. I just want to point out like when they're the sun, ignore the lighting. When there is like a moment where people are leaving, they're like, oh, <laughs> have a kiss goodbye just for us. Like show us that you're going to kiss. That is so uncomfortable. My parents would never say that unless they were very much joking. Like people, do people actually do that? Show us that kiss. <laughs> like that is so gross and so uncomfortable to me. He was helping her chop garlic, showing her how. Honestly, if somebody did that to me, I would just be like, no, 
The tension. <laughs> the tension. <laughs> so they're hiking right now. <laughs> I love hiking. However, walking is hard. <laughs> Especially when there are like roots and rocks and I trip on everything. The majority of my time hiking is looking down at the trail so I don't trip and die and fall off a cliff. I should probably take in the lush greenery. I should appreciate the scatter of tiny forest creatures taking cover in the trees. I should be one with nature. Unfortunately, I'm too busy staring at the ground. The exposed roots and moss-covered rocks are proving to be tripping hazards jutting every which way from the earth like nature's very own booby trap. I relate way too much to this book. <laughs> But it's also made me really want to go hiking. I miss the mountains. Evan and I greet them with a friendly hello because greeting everyone you come across in nature is apparently the thing to do. Also the head nod, also acceptable. People have a visceral reaction to things that make other people feel better about themselves. They like to make beauty a moral issue. Women who aspire to unrealistic standards are bad, but women who don't conform are bad too. You can't win either way, so I figured I might as well do what makes me happy. sharing poutine? Putin? Putin? Okay, I've heard it's been pronounced poutine by Canadian friends, but maybe I'm wrong. They tell you how to pronounce it and they say to pronounce it Putin. And I was just watching Rachel Catherine's vlog where she was also confused when they were in Canada. We're gonna go with Putin. That's what the book said. But they were being really cute and they're getting like friendly and I really like that and I'm so so happy and we're on chapter 19 page 184 it's making me smile i love it because it's in first person so yeah i'm definitely like playing into <laughs> mel's mindset i thought she was a youtuber she is just instagram fashion and makeup gives a lot of like valid points about social media and influencers in general and she's just like i just wanted to share my passion for fashion and beauty and now everybody wants to know everything about me. There's a beauty in holding on as long as you're not trapped in the past. We're gonna cry. This was just so thoughtful. The whole scene. And then he went to the store for her without her asking and picked her up things. Evan. I'm okay. Good morning. We're back at the gym. How exciting. Today is going to be, oh my gosh. <laughs> Children or teenagers, even worse. Oh, today's gonna be a little bit busier potentially, most likely. I am gonna go work out. We're doing a push day. Gonna go play pickleball because it's absolutely gorgeous out. And then I'm meeting Miles at the state fair. Yeah, so he's going with a group and then I'm going to leech on to that group in the afternoon. I'm planning on getting there probably around 12 30 or 1. And then after I am going to the Romanticy Book Club. We have read uh, The Wings, The Serpent and the Wings of the Night by Carissa Broadbent. I'm, I'm really excited. Sabrina Carpenter's album released yesterday, Short and Sweet. My two favorites so far are Sharpest Tool and Taste. I mean, besides Please, Please, Please and Espresso, those are just fun. I love the music video to Taste. So phenomenal. Jenna Ortega, perfect casting for that role. You can tell they just had like so much fun with it. All right, here is the state fair fit. I have a sweatshirt in my car for later for the book club. And then I just did my hair in that cutie little, um, what is it? Fishtail. It's so hot already. So I just want to be comfortable and airy and cute. And I'm just going to wear my chacos, hopefully getting stuff on my phone, but probably not any talking because it's super loud and super crowded. <laughs> Let's go to the state fair. I'm so excited. <laughs>
morning. The state fair was so fun. I went from like, I think one is when I got there to probably around 4.30. Met up with Miles and Serge and like Serge's work friends. And then Miles and Serge ended up leaving. And I was like, well, I, my book club that I was going to, which I'll get to in a second, was happening down there. So I didn't want to like go home. I just ended up hanging out with Serge's work friends and they were so kind and so sweet. Never met them. <laughs> and just we were just palling around they were really awesome i really really liked them obviously we went and saw all the little doggos and all the animals that's like the main thing i like to do when i go is go see the animals so what i normally do is i park at a free shuttle service because parking is expensive and a nightmare down there they have so many different locations for shuttles and they're so easy and like maybe 10 minutes away from it a shuttle to gate five which worked out perfectly because that's where they all ended up. Like that's where we ended up parting ways because they were kind of parked near that as well. So that worked out so well. As a gluten-free person, there's not so many options for me there uh, just because there is everything's deep fried <laughs> and on a stick, which I, I miss so much. I was very sad that I couldn't get like a pronto pup. I ended up getting my standard corn on the cob, which is the best. It's so good. I got an acai bowl, the honey lavender lemonade, which was amazing. I was near the Culligan stand and near gate five actually, kind of in that west side. Uh, they do have a gluten-free food truck that has like funnel cakes and everything, but after that acai bowl, I was so, so full. I really wanted something, but I'm like, I can't. Because after the state fair, I was going to book club and I knew there would be like snacky stuff there too. I also stopped at Chick-fil-A <laughs> and got fry because I had points to redeem. Fries sound amazing and fries that are free sound even more amazing. And guess what? They were. As far as book club went, it was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. I think there was seven or eight of us there. It was it was so great. I'm looking forward to the next book club. We're going to be reading the second book now because everybody really enjoyed the first one and I'm really happy we're doing that because I really want to read the second one next month anyway. I just had such a fun social day. Pickleball, I did amazing at. It was so great. Yesterday was ideal, especially as an extrovert. I just love being in the company of people, whether we're doing stuff or not. We're going to go work out. It's a pool day. And then I'm going to edit this video because it's going up tomorrow, ah, which means I do would like to finish the book today. I think I have about four hours remaining or so. I was going to go to volleyball today but it is super overcast and we're under a heat advisory and that sounds not fun. I don't know, this feels pretty real to me. Does it? Does it? <laughs> He's such a good Instagram boyfriend. They can be taught. <laughs> They're talking about someone. He was straight up in love with her, constantly hitting up the ice cream shop where she worked at in the summer. He'd get cone after cone multiple times a day just to see her. And he was lactose intolerant. <laughs> lactose intolerant people, you guys are different. Like you are our fiercest warriors. How would you know what I want? Because you're looking at me like that. I'm not looking at you like anything. You are, but I'll be nice and let you win this one. You know why? Why? Because I want you to stay too. This is classic. Fake dating always leads to true love. Fact, I don't make the rules. I would love to test that theory. <laughs> if you know of anybody who wants to fake date me. We live in two separate countries. So, look at Claire and Jamie from Outlander. They're separated by time, hundreds of years. <laughs> I love Outlander. The start of one of the seasons, and I can't remember which one, super graphic lots of trigger warnings i still feel nauseous and queasy thinking about it but i thought it's fantastic and that's why you bring biodegradable toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> nana is so funny she's talking about when her and her husband met <laughs> and how like they fell in love pretty fast mal asks so wait you left your entire life for a virtual stranger after two days of knowing him <laughs> nana goes lord no i told him to kick rocks <laughs> uh oh so, oh no. <laughs> Here's where everything hits the fan on all fronts. Everything. Oh dear. 32 pages left. We're getting some truths. We're letting things out. Let's finish it. Someone's knocking at the door. They think it's pizza. I don't think it's pizza. Someone who used to work at a pizza place and also sometimes delivered pizza. There would be no way I would leave without a resolution. I would just 
walk in. I finished the catch. Oh my goodness. It was so cute. We're just gonna do the wrap up here because I'm too lazy to go into my office right now. Wow. Wow. It was so cute. The progression of her writing from each of the books just has impressed me. The complicated family matters as well as the feeling that Melanie has throughout regarding social media and being perceived. But even more than that, she has a lot of abandonment issues and hers are very valid. Whereas I don't know why I have abandonment issues. I should probably talk to somebody about that. There were just a lot of thoughts of hers that I really resonated with. While hers and Evan's relationship was very fast and they do mention that it was very fast. I just really loved it. It was just a cute rom-com like I went into this knowing it was going to be a very cutesy rom-com and go into that with it. It's, it's fun. It's not always plausible. They do make the argument that their relationship is too fast, but then they're like, well, when you know, you know, and they work things out. I, the way they compromised, I don't think is going to be feasible long-term, but who knows? Another thing I really love about Melanie's point of view is she started her Instagram and her influencer life because she really loves and has a passion for fashion and beauty and that's very valid but she started to feel disconnected and she didn't explore what that would look like with her evolving as a person and growing older as well. We all go through certain phases and sometimes we just outgrow certain things and I really loved seeing her growth and her thoughts about things that she realized that used to make her happy but no longer or things that she was doing out of fear and desperation especially from her childhood trauma and past with financial insecurity as well and i just really liked to see her progression through that not necessarily getting it resolved but coming to terms with what her lifestyle suits now. I also really just loved Evan and knowing when he has been unreasonable too and being the first to be like hey that was unfair of me. I'm so sorry. I wish we would have gotten a little bit more development with their relationship, but again, it's a short book, so just a fun little rom-com. But Evan is a sweetie pie from what we saw of him. But if you really want a cute summary read, this is the perfect one to pick up. I had so much fun with it. Again, the relationship, it was cute. It was fun. I just had a really good time. Go into it with like a cheesy rom-com in mind and you'll have a great time. Very, very, very pleased with it. Great job, Amy Lee. Hopefully you had a great time hanging out with me, reading this and going to the state fair and all the other stuff that we did this week. And feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other future reading vlogs as well as like this video. And with that being said, respect others, respect yourself and do something amazing with your day. Thanks, bye.